First and foremost, the assassination attempt on the former president, Donald Trump, last night was absolutely unacceptable and tragic. Lori and I are grateful that the former president is safe and, according to him and his team, is fine. It's also important to note that last night three of our fellow Pennsylvanians were shot, one fatally and two in critical condition. I've just spent time speaking to the families, and I want to offer my prayers and the prayers of all 13 million Pennsylvanians for the two individuals who are being treated at this time. We lost a fellow Pennsylvanian last night, Corey Comparatore. I just spoke to Corey's wife and Corey's two daughters. Corey was a girl dad. Corey was a firefighter. Corey went to church every Sunday. Corey loved his community. And most especially, Corey loved his family. Corey was an avid supporter of the former president and was so excited to be there last night with him in the community. I asked Corey's wife if it would be okay for me to share that we spoke. And she said yes. She also asked that I share with all of you that Corey died a hero. That Corey dove on his family to protect them last night at this rally. Corey was the very best of us. May his memory be a blessing. Last night was shocking for this community and for this Commonwealth, and I know for this country. Political disagreements can never, ever be addressed through violence. Disagreements are okay, but we need to use a peaceful political process to settle those differences. This is a moment where all leaders have a responsibility to speak and act with moral clarity where all leaders need to take down the temperature and rise above the hateful rhetoric that exists and search for a better, brighter future for this nation. 